Hello everyone, this is Ian Lamont, author of Google Drive and Google Docs in 30 minutes. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add information to the header or footer of a Google Docs document, including page numbers. And this can be very useful if you have a, uh, a long report or some sort of document you're working on that has uh, just looks kind of plain and you want to make it look better. And you want to add page numbers, which are useful if it's a really long document and uh, people need to refer to a certain page or uh, they want to have some reference like that. So this is how you do it. Right here we have a press release for my company from earlier and it's for a new book that we had and you can see it's pretty plain. It's just text. There's a heading down here. There's some bullets but I want to dress it up a little bit so it looks really cool. And uh, one way you can do that is by adding stuff to the header of the footer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an image to the header of the document. Now there's two ways to access the header of a Google Docs document and this is true in a Mac OS or in Microsoft Windows and the first way is just to simply click on the top and right away you'll see a little dialog that you're in the header so I could start to type text here like um, press release okay but I want to add an actual logo there and this is how to do it delete that so I've selected the header the other way to do that would be if you don't just click on it, you can go to insert header and then you go to insert image. Okay, drag an image here. This pop-up appears and I have one ready. This is the logo for In 30 Minutes Guides. It's our new logo and it's, it's I'm going to put in the big version of it. Let's see what happens. Okay, now you can see the logo is there. It's a little bit too big. <laughs> I don't want it that big. So to, to shrink it down a bit, select it and then grab one of the corners and then you kind of scale it up there. Okay, that looks much better. And this logo will appear in the top of the first page and the top of the second page. If you don't want it to appear in the first page but you do want to appear in the second page, you click the header area and there's a little checkbox here, different first page header footer. Click that. Okay. So now I could say uh, press release. That's for the first page of the header. And then for every subsequent page, this cool logo appears there. Okay. And then if I want to center that, I can just do this. Press the center button right there. Okay. Now, there is the header on page one and two. Now I want to add some page numbers. So the way to do that is very similar to the header. Click in the footer area or go to insert footer. Same in Windows or Mac OS. All right. Now I want to add page numbers here and I can, of course I can manually do that. Like I could type one here different first page header and then I can go to the second page and uh, there'll be a two. But that that's not the way to do that and that especially it won't work for large documents. Google Docs already has a function that lets you insert a page number. It's right here. Go to insert page number and actually you can select it so it shows up in the header up here or in the footer automatically. And this one means that it'll be on the first page of the document and then the second page has a number two. This one means the first page will be have no page number and it won't even start. It'll be like page zero but there won't you won't be able to see it. And then on the on the next page the actual the second page of the document will be the number one. And the reason why you would do this is if you had a cover sheet and you don't want any page number to appear there. So I'm just going to do the standard one. So the first page is number one, second page is number two. Okay. So you can see the page number, one, and then down here, it's on the right side. If you want to change the, the positioning of it, and part of the reason here is because I have different first page header or footer. So I'm going to deselect that. So you can see on page one is the number one here. Page two is the number two. If I wanted to center that, all I'd do is select the center button. Okay. If I wanted to change the font, like let's say it needs to be bigger. Right now it's uh, Arial 11. If I wanted to make that bigger, I could do Arial 14. And you can see that it carries over to the second page too. 
Usually I don't do that. I usually don't make it so big. Okay, go back to 11. All right. Anyways, that's how you add headers and footers to a document in Google Docs. For more advice on how to get the most out of Google Docs, check out my book, Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thank you so much for watching.